Preparing a Thanksgiving feast can be stressful because in addition to the turkey, a myriad of side dishes must also be prepared to accompany the feast. I know in some families there is no flexibility, tradition rules, and the side dishes are set. But there are so many great recipes to try, I always like to try something different. I'm always happy with a simple medley of seasonal roasted vegetables because it pairs well with turkey and gravy. But I also like to prepare dishes that can be made in advance and reheated and served in the pan they were cooked in. After all, the fewer dirty dishes cluttering up the kitchen, the less stress all round. Now for this gratin of potatoes with chard, slicing the potatoes is definitely a labor of love, but obviously so worth the effort. So for this dish, I'm sauteing the chard with some garlic before layering it with the sliced potatoes and using a combination of chicken stock and cream that I've heated gently as the poaching liquid. And then it's all laid in with some Gruyere cheese to bring it all together. Now, a casserole like this will take about an hour to cook, so it's definitely worth making in advance. And then it only will need about a 20 to 25 minute reheat prior to serving. Now, the next dish I'm making is a wild rice harvest medley. This wild rice medley is another great side dish that can be prepared in advance and just reheated for about 20 minutes before serving. The rice can be cooked in a saucepan or in the steam oven and there are sweet potato cubes roasted in convection, of course. <laughs> Meanwhile, the onions, garlic are sauteed with the Brussels sprouts and then it's all combined together with the rice and the sweet potato. And we add in some uh, dried cranberries for a nice vibrant pop of color and a tart sweet flavor. And I'm adding a little bit of chicken stock to the pan to prevent the ingredients from drying out while the casserole is being reheated. Since all the ingredients have been cooked, this casserole will only need reheating, so it's a great one to get done in advance. Remember, once your turkey is cooked, you still need to plan another 50 minutes for the resting, carving and gravy making. However, with the circulating heat of convection, all the side dishes can be added to the oven at the same time so they're ready to serve when the turkey is ready. I mean, it's almost a miracle. I hope these recipes will help you orchestrate a stress-free Thanksgiving feast using your convection oven. Hi, I'm Larissa, your convection enthusiast. Convection cooking can make you a better cook. Check out my videos and I think you'll find that you'll do really, really well. And please like and subscribe.